Kia ora everyone, my name is Richie. I uh, hope you've had a great day. So I finally got myself uh, verified on, um, I got an invite to Foundation and I can start minting NFTs. Uh, so big shout outs to Explore Night Sky um, Amit um, from, here, from here in New Zealand for um, sending me the invite and um, getting me um, verified. Um, so now I can start uh, minting. Um, uh, but the big thing, I don't know if, if you're a photographer, photographer, you might understand this, but as an artist or photographer, one of the hardest things to do when you begin start selling prints or making calendars or um, just uh, or selecting fo photos for galleries is choosing the photos that you want to use. And now that I've got uh, access to make an NFT, I don't know what to do because I've got so many photos and some that I think are great, other people think are average, and some things that I think are average, some people think are great. So I wanted to make a quick video and put it out there to get you guys to help me choose uh, what I should mint as my first NFT. So, uh, a couple of random thoughts were uh, deep sky objects. So, um, here I have a stack of Rehua, which is aka Antares, uh, and Scorpius. This is taken on my um, Zenith Star 360, 360mm um telescope Zenith Star Z61 uh, then I have other deep sky objects like the SMC the in all its beautiful um, beauty and what else did I have uh, the Carina nebula which is actually a really huge nebula in the southern hemisphere um, I was thinking maybe that but then I thought uh, apart from deep sky um, then I was going to go a bit wider because well that's as deep as I get because I've only got a, a Z61 which is 360 millimeters which isn't that deep really uh, then you've got wider shots of um, Rehua aka Antares and the, the like head of Scorpio there in Scorpius um, a stack shot of that but uh, a couple of ideas I had were like to do things in sets. So I had like the set of uh, blood moons from the last blood moon we had here uh, on Earth. <laughs> That's all of us. Uh, was So I've got a few shots from that last blood moon we had. I think it was, wait, it was in May or April? Anyway, there's uh, a couple of wider shots. Um, a 50mm shot here of it inside um, with the rest of the Milky Way core in... in that stuff and then kind of a wider even wider I think that's a 35 mil or 16 mil I'd have to look at the details of that but you can see the blood moon there as well and then I think that's just a crop of the 50 mil or that could be the 35 and the other ones are 16 so I was thinking of um, packaging them as like the blood moon package and selling them as an NFT as as a pack uh, then I have um, the most recent Matariki pictures. So if you don't know about Matariki, it's a celebration of the new year here in New Zealand. Um, and uh, it's the Pleiades when it rises in the east each year because it disappears in the southern hemisphere for like a month and a half, two months. And then it reappears, which is a big deal because it lets us know that it's the middle of winter here in New Zealand. And then if, as we observe it, it it's, um, we can tell how, well, how good the weather's going to be. And it's just a, there's a lot of other, like, um, folklore kind of um, gardening tips and a lot of things that are, uh, and just celebrations in general for the Māori New Year with Matariki. So here it is rising with the rest of um, the uh, Te Waka or Orangi, which is, this is a canoe. Uh, you might know it as Orion and the, the Orion constellation, but we call it something different here. This is a canoe, Matariki, at the front. Um, Te Kokota or Hades in the middle is the sail, and then at the back of the canoe, which is like the, if you've ever seen a Māori canoe, they have like the big uh, part of the back, and that's the Orion Nebula, but we call that Totoro. Um, and then you've got the, the moon rising at the bottom here, and then I've got different um, focus. It's all from the same morning. Uh, it's, I've got uh, different focal lengths of the same moon. And also on that night, uh, morning, you might not see it in this wide shot, but um, right down the very bottom there's the moon, and then there's Mercury just before the sun rises. And in this uh, closer shot, you can see Mercury over here and a star next to it, and then the moon. 
and then there's um, the moon right in this bottom corner and Matariki up in the top corner then you've got kind of a 50 mil wider shot of, of um, the moon down here and Matariki up there and then you've got just the moon on my telescope so a close-up of the moon and I was thinking I could package those together and sell them as an NFT I think you can do that I think you can package them as groups if not, maybe I'll sell them separate. Um, and then I've got, um, I went to Castle Hill uh, a month and a half ago and I got these different shots of the southern constellations up here. This, this is the southern sky. So if you're from the north, these are all like targets that you just dream about. The LMC, the SMC, um, uh, Canopus, and then like the Southern Cross, uh, Carina and then some nebula and then also the fact that it was shot at uh, Castle Hill which is where Lion Witch in the Wardrobe was shot um, then you got the, some mountains in the same area and then the Milky Way core so basically I was facing one way, took one shot, flipped around took, took the, this shot of uh, the mountains in the distance and the actual Milky Way core which most of the world is more familiar with and then the LMC and the SMC up close and then just the SMC up close there is one of the LMC up close and then kind of a, um, a portrait angle shot of more of the the southern Milky Way core so you get um, Alpha and Beta Centauri in there as well um, not just the crux and then you've got the um, the Colsac Nebula which is a, a dark a dark nebula um, so yeah those are my thoughts I was just thinking um, there are like there's random ones like the moon rising with a seagull in the front but then you can see the ocean and it's got real nice pastel colors there um, then like the, the basketball ones that I take of the southern skies with so you got crux there then Alpha and Beta Centauri uh, Carina Nebula and some I call these ones like Space Jams I've got some of these as well um, oh yeah we've seen that one and what other random ones? I've got uh, Matariki 2020, um, and that had Venus in it, not Mercury. So it's got Venus rising, and also the correct lunar phase. So the, the Tangaroa uh, moon phase is another sign that uh, when we ha see Matariki rising in this lunar phase, that's when we celebrate the four days of the particular lunar phase. Um, Google that stuff if you don't um, understand it. It's really interesting. Then you got random like 100mm um, macro lens stacks of the Milky Way core from here in New Zealand, which is beautiful. You've got the um, Lagoon, Trifid, Omega and Eagle Nebula, as well as the whole Milky Way core, which is beautiful. Um, and also I have the... Inside the LMC is the Tarantula Nebula, which is that one there. And then I've got another random one of Totoro, aka Orion, rising above the ocean just before dawn. Now, you don't get all the nebula in that, but in New Zealand, it's a big deal to catch stars rising just before dawn, because that's how we tell what time of year it is in New Zealand, uh, in Māori culture. And so, yeah, those are my thoughts. Those are just some ideas I thought I'd um, throw out there. Do you think you could help me choose what ones I should make into NFT? This will probably make everyone select... Uh, they'll all have their own favorites and it won't get me closer to my my goal of choosing but I, I'm thinking if I had to mint it in the next hour I'm thinking the Matariki and moon phase um, set I would um, thinking I was thinking one of these or all of this as a set would be the ones I'd choose if I had to just because um, the um, it's you know it's it's quite unique to have an astrophotographer who who is a bit more focused on capturing the stars just before the sun rises and the moon and stuff because most astrophotographers like to concentrate on pitch dark nights and stuff which I, I do too I love like you know don't get me wrong I love shooting at those times but you know because of my culture this these these photos uh, mean a lot to me and they they mean a lot um, in my culture to um, to have stars rising before dawn so if, off the top of my head if I had to choose I'd mint that as a set or one of those shots second my choice would be the blood moon set um, probably yeah probably mint those as a set or separately 
but let me know let me know what you think and um i'll make a choice tomorrow's my birthday i turn 46 tomorrow so i'm going to mint my first nft tonight or tomorrow to celebrate one more spin around the sun of my 46th journey around the sun there's a lot of journeys around the sun um so yeah help me out Just leave a comment below and or dm me let me know what um you might want to buy off me if you're a collector uh, or just what you think people might want to buy. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Catch up soon. Peace.